What's that wee? It's a bit of beard on the mic, I think. Hope it's a beard. Hope it's beard. We met up with Scott from uh, BitSocket, who are uh, they're cutting about doing stuff. Um, what is it you are up to this year? What's your plan? Uh, mostly, we've actually been um, we've actually got a petition that we've been um, getting folk to write. We want um, Nintendo to make a first-person shooter from the perspective of Blastoise, the Pokemon, because I think there's a lot of potential there, not just for the Pokemon fans to enjoy it, but I think Blastoise represents all the things that make the Call of Duty games really good. For example, Blastoise eats cod. And also, he was raised on... It wasn't like the field of battle, it was more like a duck pond. But, imagine it, you could have these two cannons and the two cannons are firing water at some students. And then the students are like, you can't eat kettle us, and they're like, no, it's a hose, mate. And then... I don't know why you think this is funny. This is I'm going to make serious money out of this. Like, because we'd heard well last year we pitched a cycling game where you go Charizard, but they were like, but Charizard's legs aren't long enough to go a bike. So you're here with uh, with the rest of your crew. You've got Joe. What's what's he doing? What, what what answer would he give us? Would he would he say something sensible? Joe would be like, we've got we're trying to combine some paradigms. And we're going to synergize BitSocket along with um, the key concepts of what video gaming means to us as a philosophy. Also combining elements of Eastern philosophy and probably right-wing religious theory. Joe really approves not only of Mitt Romney, <laughs> but also bringing back Han Hanging for Thieves. And he means anything. See if you're in, in Sainsbury's, right? And you're in Sainsbury's a lot, Barry, right? I always I'm a waitress, man. And you pick, see, oh, there's a grape. There's a grape. I'll taste these grapes. And you see the second, grape one passes your, your lips, right? The rope. <laughs> Game of the show so far, it's probably um, honest answer, Metal Gear Rising. Right. Jokey answer, Wonder Book. You didn't get to play it though, did you? No, there's a power cut. So in theory, it's a bit like the woman you never had. Yeah. She probably will, she'll always oh, be so perfect. It's got some allure for you because it didn't work, yeah. basically. She'll always be perfect. <laughs> no. Barry, game of the show for you so far? Uh, I've not played Metal Gear yet, but uh, if I had, I imagine that'd be it. But um, I trust your opinion, man. That, uh, that free to play one where you're flying the big mech suit, what's that called again? Is that you? Uh, no. Zero <laughs> suit. Suit zero hang. Battle suit Lara. Aye. Is that the one with? Um... <laughs> ah, battle suit Lara. No way. <laughs> I mind that. You mind that? But <laughs> it was like on the cheat cartridges. It was like battle suit Lara. It was like on your Explorer cartridge, and you put the cheat on, and it like took took like the model of her arse and put it all over her like she's wearing a big army suit. Wow, you can never afford an explorer. You never had an explorer or not? I was going to say, I'm above cheating, but actually I'm too poor. Action replay? Did nothing. That nothing. Was a poor man. Just my bear. So his memories of the 90s where cheating on games cost money. Game genie, mate. Game genie, mate. Right, Jim, what's been your game of the show? Um, I've... I can't even mind what I've played now. That's shocking, isn't it? Probably, I've not played it, but... <laughs> I went to the dev session for it. So far from what I've seen, Dishonored looks incredible. So I'm very much looking forward to getting a shot of it. I'm gonna try and play it tomorrow, I think. It looks like the kind of game where there's lots of ways to dispatch enemies and innocent people in lots of uh, delightful colour. What's the point? Well, exactly, yeah, yeah. I like that the guys doing the dev session, the actual developers were like, like deliberately killing like, maids and stuff in this house they were creeping around in. When he was doing it, did he scream his wife's name? Keep bit socking. <laughs> <laughs>